You need to learn about the basics of IT first before you begin to learn about cybersecurity. That's pretty much the summary of this entire video. So if there are other videos you wanted to watch, by all means, you can click away. But if you want to learn a little bit more, please keep watching. Welcome back to Love Cyber. My name is Alex. I cover all topics related to cybersecurity. And today's video, I will be discussing with you exactly why you need to learn the basics of IT first before you jump into learning about cybersecurity. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Why do I need to learn the basics of IT? Can't I just enroll in a beginner's course on cybersecurity and learn about cybersecurity? Can't I buy a cybersecurity for dummies book and just learn the basics of cybersecurity? Well, the answer is yes, you could obviously do that. The problem, though, is that these beginner's courses and books on cybersecurity, they would already assume that you have some background within the field of IT. Because when you begin to learn about cybersecurity, even at the basic level, you might see terms like IP addresses and MAC addresses and switches and routers. And if you have no idea what these terms are or how exactly they differ from one another, you will struggle to learn about cybersecurity. Now, even at the workplace, the different kinds of careers and fields under cybersecurity, they all tap into some knowledge in other areas of IT. For example, if you want to become a cybersecurity analyst, typically you'll be expected to know a lot about networking because being a security analyst means you're going to be monitoring network traffic and so on. So, the more you know about networking, which is a separate field within IT, the better you will be as a security analyst. If you wanted to go into digital forensics, which is another field within cybersecurity, you would be expected to know a lot about actual computer hardware. How does a computer store data in the hard drive? How does the computer memory, the RAM, how does it actually operate? These are things you would need to know to excel as a digital forensics investigator. And let's even say you are hired to secure a website. You, you wanted to make a website as secure as possible against hackers so that hackers won't hack into the website you would need to have some understanding of how websites are actually built. It is not possible for you to protect something if you don't even understand what that thing is. How are you going to protect it? So cybersecurity is a very interesting field that taps into the knowledge gained from other fields within IT. That's why when you begin to learn about the basics of IT first, it's going to make you learn about cybersecurity so much easier. Now, just to delve a little bit deeper into what it means to learn about the basics of IT, there's going to be four main categories I would like to recommend to you. The first category is going to be hardware and software. Understand the physical components that make up a computer system, whether it's the memory, the hard drive, the processor, the motherboard, and so on understand how these components work together, and also try to understand how a computer actually boots up. When you press the power button on a computer screen for it to turn on, what goes on behind the scenes before you see that login page on your computer screen? When it comes to software, try to learn as much as you can about software development, the software development life cycle, how applications are actually built, how applications interact with operating systems as well. The second main category, and in my humble opinion, probably the most important category, this is going to be networking. Trust me, the more you know about networking, the better you're going to become at cybersecurity. Try to learn as much as you can about networking. Understand ideally the differences between an IP address and a MAC address, switches and routers, the OSI model, parts, protocols, and so on. Again, just try to learn as much as you can about networking and I guarantee you, it will pay off in your pursuit of a career in cybersecurity. The third main category is going to be programming. Now, I know what you might be thinking, oh no, programming, I do not like programming, it's so technical. Yes, me personally, I do not like programming myself, but I'm not asking you to become an expert, okay? Just understand the very basics of programming. What exactly is code? 
What does it mean to code? Even if you're able to write the most simple of programs that outputs on the computer screen, hello, I am happy, that already is enough. Understand the subtle differences between programming languages like uh, JavaScript and Ruby and Python and so on. If you're able to understand just a little bit of the syntax, understand just a little bit of what loops are, what arrays are, trust me, it's going to be so beneficial for you as well. And who knows, you may actually enjoy programming. You never can tell. Now, the fourth and final category is going to be websites and databases. For website development, you need to learn the basics of HTML and CSS. These two are the fundamental core components of any website out there. And you can also learn the basics of WordPress, which is a very, very popular platform for building websites. That would also greatly help you as well. And then regarding databases, I'm not asking once again to be, for you to become an expert at database management, but if you're able to understand how databases work together with websites to store data and display data, that will go a long way. And ideally, if you can understand what goes on behind the scenes, when you type in an address on URL, maybe uh, www.labcyber.com, you press enter. What goes on behind the scenes before the home page of Lab Cyber actually shows up on your computer screen? If you are able to understand all of that, oof, you're going to be almost ready to begin learning about cybersecurity. So once again, hardware, software, networking, programming, websites and databases. If you have some foundation in these four categories, you'll be more than ready to begin learning about cybersecurity and learning about cybersecurity is going to become so much easier for you. And by the way, just in case you're interested in learning about the basics of IT, I do have a course on Udemy and also my platform lab cyber.com that will teach you what you need to know about the basics of IT. It's not a long course at all. It doesn't go overboard. It just gives you what you need to know in order to begin learning about cybersecurity. So if you're interested, I'll have the links to the courses down in the description box below. But that's pretty much it for today's video where I have discussed why you need to learn about the basics of IT first before learning about cybersecurity. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and share this video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I talk about cybersecurity. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and of course hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have any questions, comments, of course, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them as soon as I can. It's been a pleasure making this video. Stay safe out there and I will talk to you next time. Cheers.